Mm. Okay. When I went to get this machine, because I saw it uh, actually in fine dressmaking, uh, one of my students said, oh, a lady down the street wants to sell her featherweight sewing machine. And she has a featherweight table, which is a little card table. It has a slot in it, and this machine fits in it. So it's like 1950s, and this thing would fit flush so that I have a big table where I can... Did you get excited? It. Yeah, you yeah, did I did like everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got down there just as quickly as I could. So uh, I thought, well, I don't need another sewing machine, but I sure need that card table because that that's, that's a very rare find. So if you ever see a card table and it's got a rectangular hole in it, buy it. <laughs> because I was just reading this morning that... Uh, Somebody picked one up for five hundred dollars, and she thought it was a bargain. <laughs> so, the lady said, "Yeah, I really don't want to sew anymore, and you know, I haven't used the machine in a long time. It sat in the garage, and there was a flood in the garage, and the machine was in the case, mm -hmm. and so all the moisture sat there and rotted the bottom out of the case, and rotted the paint off the." The machine that so that's awesome. why it's missing paint right here but otherwise it's a fine little machine so what did you get it for uh <laughs> do i have to tell you okay. well mm. isn't that a, like a lower quality and what's the price for kind of a i got the table lower? and the machine for two hundred dollars oh, oh wow i know that's it a good a deal it How was a very good deal Is it over the last summer? summer oh wow fine dressmaking uh, and it was right there in San Marcos, so We're it's, all gonna be on the hunt now. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and like I said, you can get them on Craigslist, and you can get them on uh, eBay, uh, any of those sites. You can go to the Featherweight Yahoo group, and <clears throat> the guy that writes it is in England, and he tells you how to service the machine and he has a repair uh, book and everything so you can rewire it and I mean, you can take care of it but <clears throat> they're kind of groupies right? <laughs> you guys are kind of getting that okay so people are in love with these little machines and they think they're wonderful so you saw how I got the fabric into the binder and now let me grab the other binder Okay, I just wanted yeah. you to be able to see where I'm sticking this. I don't want to take that thing off again. So you saw me put this into those slots, right? Around there. I'll stick this one in. Okay. Now this isn't the one I would put in here right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. <clears throat> so I'm putting folded bias tape in here. Are you with me? Would you need okay. to iron it first, or can you put it in when it's folded? Uh, I would have to open that yeah. and press it, but you can put it in folded. Yes, so I'll show you that as well. <clears throat> and then you pull this through. Now when you want to feed your fabric so that it binds it, you put the fabric through the middle of that section. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> A little hard to see. Okay, mm -hmm. so it feeds right down in the middle of that tunnel. Can you show that up here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's going to feed all the way to your needle. So you want to take it down to here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this one is an older binder. Uh, <clears throat> and you can adjust the binder too. So you can shift this binder. So I'm going to put the foot down and sew a little bit. I hope. But you need some fabric It's in there? probably this foot. Mm. Uh, yeah, it has fabric. It, the, no, the, the pink. The white. Fabric. The white. Oh, well, I'm going to get started first. Mm. Of course, I did this on my sewing machine at home, which is my other singer. So I'm just going to cut that top thread and get it out of the way.
I usually have this stuff set up so that I don't have to fiddle with it when, uh, when I was in the meeting. <coughs> anyway. I'll put this in and see if it will show feed. Maybe it will. <coughs> Like I was telling you, this is a 221. My other sewing machine, which is a Singer, <clears throat> is a 403. And I think I purchased that in the 60s. So it's 10 years newer than my 1952 model over there. And they're really good machines. And I use the same binder but I didn't use this sewing machine to set it up. Yeah, okay. No, it's the 403 of featherweight? No, the 403 is this. 221 and 222 are the featherweights? Yeah, those are the featherweights, okay. and those are the only ones that are featherweights. Okay. And the, um, <laughs> Something's changed. the bobbin case might not be in right. <clears throat> okay, what I'll do is I'll get it all set up so mm -hmm. that you guys can see it later, but and have you use it as well. So rather than s have you sit there and watch me fuss around with the sewing machine, uh, what I'm gonna do is put on the narrow rolled hem foot and show you that one. 